Our show's climax is, of course, the man and woman of the year. So, to announce the name of the man of the year, it gives me great personal pleasure to welcome all the way from down under, one of Australia's feistiest babes, the lovely Miss Kylie Minogue. <laughs> Rough. When I saw you on MTV, I... I uh, uh... Kylie couldn't make it. They put her down somewhere backstage and they just can't seem to put their hand on her. Oh, so yeah. I stepped in at the last minute. And you are... Jermaine. Jermaine Greer. Oh, yes, yes, I remember. Yeah, yeah, the uh, female eunuch. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what have you been doing with yourself since you stopped playing Mrs. Mangle in Neighbors? I was never in Neighbors. Can I just read the nomination? It gives me great pleasure, or rather, to be more precise, it's my contractual obligation to tell you that the one and only nomination for BAFTA's Man of the Year 2002 is James Harries. <laughs> BAFTA's Man of the Year is awarded to someone who has rigorously and conscientiously devoted himself to fucking up his own life, even from an early age, when he appeared on Wogan. Now, James, I've always admired somebody like you as an expert in anything, and at ten... I'm sorry, Mr. Wigon, but sticking a bow tie onto a child does not a genius make. And despite James's claims, he was a dunce at school. Well, I just see myself as a philosopher of life, really. Sporting the Lord Snooty tie and those exophthalmic eyes suggestive of one late-night Sherman too many, James Harry's obnoxious and pompous views had audiences despising him. I won't go to school because, um, um, well, I just uh, don't think the children are ladies and gentlemen, and I don't think the teachers are either. <laughs> That's incredible. If I'd have spotted that when I was 14, I'd have got a damn good cough around the ear. And, uh... Maybe his crazy parents were to blame for James's twisted persona. His mother, Kathleen, ran a kissogram business and worked as a stripper. His father burned down his weird fancy dress shop for insurance purposes and was convicted of arson about and fraud and jailed for six years. Pity James wasn't, because he continued being obnoxious on television. I've had bricks from my window, our door was rammed, and obviously, like that, nobody likes my family, and obviously, by the looks of things, nobody likes me. Um, but what I will say... What you're going to be like when you're 20, I can't imagine. Do you remember the first... This is what James looks like 20 years on. Wow! Lord Snooty with knockers. And nothing wrong with James having a sex change and becoming Lauren. Though, technically, it buggers off our Man of the Year award. He... Little girl. So we'll rename it the man and woman of the year. And James, sorry, Lauren, has been instructed to attend Benjamin Pell's house to receive the coveted Golden Archie. Benjamin's parents used to enjoy James on TV, but have no idea he's coming to dinner, and absolutely no idea he's now a girly. Is the romance in the air? This could be blind date crossed with celebrity sleepover. Except that nobody's blind, Lauren isn't a celebrity, and there'll be no sleeping tonight. Hello! I was expecting man of the year. Please come in. I'll try to I've got something for you, though. If I'm really? around this, I mean, sorry. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I just haven't uh, had these ready from before. I mean, oh, nice. are they your favourites? Um, may I kiss you on your lips? <laughs> are they still sensitive? <laughs> My man is not really used to such august oh, company, no, see, and, uh, I mean, did you always want your own slot on television? I never bought it. I just oh, got but off. you did! I mean, you used to be Lord Fauntleroy. Yes. And you're now sort of Dame Edna. But in a very no, positive sort of way. Don't dare you call me oh, Dame Edna. Oh, really? I'm, I'm suspi I have a sus my suspicion. You do have a suspicion. Like who this person is? Yeah. Oh, I do you know that. What she is. <laughs> no one in the whole world, I would venture to say, Dare I say it in any other planet or universe has ever messed up their lives like you have. That's true. I've certainly done a few it's things. It's monumental. One fuck up after another. Well, I don't like to swear that, so. No. <laughs> ah, what do we have here, though? Ah, ah, drum roll. Lauren Charlotte Harris. Now, I know you've always wanted a statuesque and bronzed figure, but I'm afraid this will have to do. This is an award, Lauren, which only you can receive. Oh my this is for God. someone oh who has messed God. up their whole life 
but at the same time amused us in this country for the last 23 years. So please, will you take this from me? And do you have something to say, please? Right, um, well, um, it's just that this award goes to my family. I suppose you should that the question. <laughs> uh, yes, it is. Beaten up in Gunther's Green, looking like that. I'm, I'm losing my appetite. I know, I know. You lost the appetite when she walked into the house. I never thought that she'd look as bad as that. I don't know why she bothered spending nine thousand pounds on an operation. She still looks like a man. I know what she does. She does. She should ask for her money back. And she eats like a pig. She has fifteen rituals. <laughs>